Okay, Bala, I'm making you presenter. You can take over. Thank you, Shiva. Let like me share my screen. Yeah, Bala, introduce yourself. And then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for uh, everyone. Good day, all. So, first of all, uh, let me introduction myself. So, I am Bala Krishna. So, having 10 plus years of experience in SAP EWM consultant. So, earlier I have an uh, ABAP technical consultant. I moved to the EWM as a technical role and uh, later changed it into the techno function. So, in teaching experience, I have completed three batches. This is the fourth batch in SAP EWM. Thank you. So, first, let me go to the curriculum uh, to what we are going to learn in this session. So, at the end of uh, my target is at the end of session, uh, uh, you will learn that uh, most of technical perspective. Uh, like what we have uh, do in EWM as a technical. So what are the roles? What are the difference between functional and technical uh, objects in SAP EWM? So in the batch, we have mixed uh, peoples like somehow a most experienced person and somehow uh, functional people, technical people. It's a combination of uh, means somebody know, don't know about that idea of the SAP, even SAP. So we are on the same page uh, at the end of the I will try to uh, explain the most uh, technical and uh, functional details. So let me try to explain the what is the difference uh, between SAP ABAP technical and SAP EWM technical. Sounds uh, both are uh, similar sounds as they you know the technical uh, so somebody you will doubt on that what is the uh, technical person doing EWM system. So if you can you mute yourself if somebody is un unmuted. Thank you. So uh, basically uh, in our mind, so when you go to that SAP EWM technical and ABAP technical, so the difference between is the in SAP EWM is the SAP introduced by BOPF concept means that is business objective programming framework. So uh, the ABAP know that what the solution for this uh, problem. Suppose uh, I'm giving you one simple example. Suppose uh, you are doing simple inbound. Okay, so you want to put in the final put away bin into the one uh, primary area so this is a simple scenario don't know that about the deconsolidation packet this i want to put some uh, primary location put away so in that one but uh, system suggested the different uh, bin i want to know the details so as a functional consultant you will go that uh, at the time of put away creation so you will check that logs where it went to that where it went to that bin so that bin is suggested not correct so i want to go to the custom one okay so you will go and uh, ask that uh, abapper do to the some announcement to the uh, final put away determination so in that one suppose he abapper don't know about that ewm concept because it is a completely designed and a BOPF framework. So he knows that uh, uh, what uh, enhancement, he, determined, he identified that enhancement, but he don't know about where, where the logic will introduce, where we logic in put in some play, right place. So different between here that uh, take, uh, EWM technical and normal tech, ABAP technical person, in EWM, we have BOPF concept. It is a completely frame, template framework. So to identify this uh, logic and uh, correct place into that uh, and correct uh, 
data move into the structures internal table so that is the main difference between the normal abap person and ewm technical person so the technical person know about this bopf framework then he can able to write the logic and uh, data passed into the corresponding internal table so where we can utilize more utilize this bopo framework so as we know the tools like uh, monitor and uh, rfea frameworks and uh, this ppa framework so mostly the ewm technical person mostly work on these tools only so i know uh, somebody is uh, not able to catch up me so bear with me few sessions to understand better the technical and abap so i will go through the basic first basic abap concept because somebody might know uh, don't know about these uh, detail uh, uh, <coughs> naming convention like internal table structure what is structure what is tables and what is function models what is uh, object oriented so i will brush up these concept first basic uh, abap concept like a dictionary so you will uh, hear this terminology in most of the projects what is table concept so we can save the every data in the tables and what is views structure so i will brush up this concept then after the completion of these uh, abap basic concept then we'll introduce the enhancement so as i mentioned suppose uh, i will give one more example suppose a uh, simple example uh, in in the simple in boundary so i want to do put away uh, product into the final bin so we have you utilize the in in our wearer so we have uh, utilized this alternative unit of measure instead of base unit unit of measure i want to calculate the measurement dimension and the weight and volume to determine the correct bin for efficiency uh, put away so but uh, standard uh, acting like a so uh, instead of alternate uh, unit of measure so it's consider only base unit of measure you know base unit of measure is pc alternate unit of measure is cars so i want to calculate i want to determine the put away bin based on the calculation so the standard is uh, not given any uh, solution so we obviously we will go to the custom enhancement so some do some modification on the standard uh, screens so how we can do that so i will introduce these bad is custom enhancement customer exit what is that one and uh, enhancement points uh, where we can uh, uh, find out and where we can write the exact logic to uh, achieve our scenarios so i will take some simple example like in inbound delivery and outbound delivery even packaging specification so i will uh, explain and i will try to implement uh, different different scenarios in all i will cover all uh, deliver like inbound outbound stock transfer packaging specification creation so i will cover up with this announcement and uh, one more topic is that easy announcement workbench framework so it is also one framework to uh, add or uh, update the custom field in the uh, standard transaction like uh, suppose one example i will give you uh, that is suppose uh, in material master in mm in ec side we have an uh, product master details right so uh, the business person is created one product in mm01 so in the mm01 in ecc side uh, we have one uh, custom field like um, some delivery information or some something uh, custom information available in the material master side same information uh, we will distribute to the ewm side so it is a ewm is a decentralized system so i want to distribute same information to the ec side so in e in ewm system we don't have that field in the e in ewm so how we will create the custom field in the uh, standard tables and how we will uh, enhance the screen uh, like in uh, scwm mat1 so how we how we will add that uh, 
screen field in that uh, standard uh, table so we will achieve through this easy enhance ewb easy enhancement framework so i will uh, uh, try to create one ew to achieve this requirement so it is comes to the enhancement part and uh, next part is most of that warehouse we know uh, work on that rfui framework that uh, tiny uh, screens available under the warehouse number so we have it is a mixed concept in uh, uh, functional guys and technical guys here both uh, uh, guys are working in the radio frequency so functional guys don't know about the logic behind the screens and even technical person don't know about the configuration what we configure the functional guys configured so here we are on the same page i will uh, explain the concept how we will uh, configure how we will uh, get the idea of the screen flows and everything so i will uh, cover with the standard as well as the custom screens custom complete custom uh, flows in the rfa uh, assume suppose uh, i will give you the standard screen we have system guided semi system guided to automatically uh, determine the warehouse order to uh, put away or picking the bin so i will explain the process or even uh, in the custom framework uh, development like i want to uh, print that uh, uh, warehouse order i want to print the particular handling unit how we will print how we will write the logic how we will uh, screen one screen to another screen what are the technical objects involved so i will explain i will try to explain from scratch to uh, from scratch level so here is the major concept is once we uh, know that these technical details means uh, basic concept of abap and uh, these enhancement classes function model what is the bap is rf so once we confident on this slowly move into this uh, EWM part RFC framework and uh, sorry RF framework and uh, monitor trans you know that every uh, EWM concern know about to get the read data from monitor transaction for all deliveries all information so here also same thing functional guys involves and development person involved so how the uh, functional guys configured uh, the monitor uh, nodes and what are the technical objects required for in the monitor transaction how we will read that one so that uh, we will discuss more on the monitor uh, transactions so here also we i will explain uh, the standard uh, report as well as the custom report how we will create the nodes for custom uh, node so uh, that is the second thing and uh, uh fourth one is you know the ppf action so uh this is also similar same both uh, consultant work on that of ppf for configuration part will take care of for the functional and the rest of the logic uh, like classes and smart forms and everything uh, will work on that uh, technical consultant so here we'll uh, uh take an example for a standard ppf action like suppose i want to create one vero task uh, for that inbound delivery or auto vero task creation for that uh, put away so similar i will explain how that configuration uh, uh, placed onto that uh, action or uh, uh, creation of auto vero task or even some printing that smart form automatically based on the condition record so we will go through these concept ppf to understand the basic concept like what are the condition record what are the uh, condition record maintain the uh, ppf conditions and uh, uh, maintain the condition records transaction and how we uh, configure the smart forms custom smart forms even also standard one so uh, these prerequisites is uh, for printing the smart form so i will uh, go through i will explain try to explain the forms not detail very detailed because uh, this is a different subject so my it will uh, more knowledge so first i we will go through that what is the form smart forms i will try to explain the way we can check so uh, if suppose uh, as a functional consultant, intent uh, i had an issue in the production server to identify the what is that issue so we will 
uh, uh, simple if you explain the technical person they will what the technical guy will do first go and check that uh, uh, error detail and try to debug that uh, code so as the end of the session i will uh, tell you that you will confident the debug uh, once you go through this basic concept you, you can debug that entire logic to identify the uh, error so that is the one target to uh, give to you the debugging confident on debugging to identify that uh, what is that uh, issue so coming to the ppf so we will go to the standard one uh, standard ppf action and how we configure the custom one we will go to the uh, from scratch level suppose uh, i will give you one uh, example for custom one so we have an uh, bol print like a business uh, loading uh, sorry uh, bol form uh, loading form so while that uh, uh, transport unit completed means loading and everything complete after the post goods issue i want to print that what are the uh, uh, products are loaded into the truck so i want to uh, once i finished the loading i want to auto generate the form with these details so we will uh, the, go through this uh, custom approach to trigger the smart form so i will explain the concept uh, for custom one so the, uh, some few example will take and do the configuration for scratch level so here monitor is fine then uh, finally uh, i will give you the uh, like a uh, object to try yourself like we will discuss in the uh, during the session like what is the uh, object what is the object or what is the function model what is the classes are utilized so these are the most uh, uh, scenarios uh, using in the any uh, project like uh, create various tasks you know that we have deliveries available in uh, awm like inbound outbound tra stock transfer orders and etc etc so any various order creation we want to create the various so how we will what is the logic behind the uh, creation of various so so we will go and uh, suppose i am giving you one uh, example suppose uh, you want to create one uh, simple uh, report to create the various task for uh, uh, moving to the product one bin to another bin so we will give some example and try to ourselves to write the logic for how we will create the various tasks in any report or function model classes so try to explain to this how we will create the various task to utilizing the function module or either class methods etc and uh, the regular scenarios create handling unit and pack it into something some bin uh, something so how we will create that handling unit particular handling based on the packaging material and how to pack and save that handling unit so this is regular scenarios and uh, create uh, so most of that uh, functional guys don't know about the packaging specification logic so it is not saving in one table we cannot able to read that entire details in one table so how we will do that simply we will go and uh, create some function model or report to suppose if you uh, the example is suppose if you enter the product information i want to get the all details for the packaging specification so what is the logic behind these uh, creation update delete packages specification so we will go through this logic with uh, utilizing the standard uh, tables and function model to achieve this one so similarly we have these different different uh, scenarios we will try our uh, so in during the session to better understandable the ewm perspective so this is my agenda to explain the uh, entire concept in this session so any questions uh, curriculum any suggestion or anything you want to uh, add yeah bala this is omar khan so uh, do we need to have uh, you know uh, 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 the skills of uh, writing codes, writing programs uh, for this uh, EWM technical. Uh, 
uh, are we supposed to have that knowledge, uh, the coding knowledge, programming knowledge? Yeah, that is uh, your interest. Suppose I will try to the coding perspective, basic coding perspective in the basic sub app. Like suppose once we uh, get more confident on dictionary, so I will try to uh, simple, uh, simple report function module and what is the local object or what is the structure so how we will read that uh, data from standard table so i will go through the sql statements and simple scenarios how to uh, write the logic simple scenarios try to explain in the code snippet code snippet uh, program suppose i will suppose i want to read the uh, some high in arts i want to read the product information from mat one transaction so how we will read that uh, information from standard table so i will yes uh, i will try to explain the basic concept i will write that logic i will utilize the syntaxes and uh, try to explain that on uh, seven point four in abap seven point syntaxes so at the end of the session that uh, uh, basic uh, programming session then you will get uh, knowledge so that knowledge when it is required at the end of uh, at the at the time of debugging you know the at least know the syntax what uh, suppose uh, if we have one sql query suppose select query uh, so you, you are at the debugging time so you know that uh, syntax what it is utilized what it is the use of in the system so that time that is the purpose i am trying to do more explanation on the base concept so once you know the base concept of the syntax then you can able to identify you can able to debug that uh, standard approaches okay okay fine bala uh, uh, not much deeper into the logic but i will try to explain the basic what the functional guys required Okay. Okay. And Pavitra here. I'm I am a functional consultant where where I really don't know about the debugging also, or uh, you know any uh, technical things. So will it be helpful for me as well? Like if, if if I join the course, will you start from the basic? Yes, obviously that is the my target to uh, understand the basic concept as well as the confident on the debugging. So when you confident on the debugging. At the time of you know the basic concept like uh, what is the these tables what is the internal tables utilized in the coding so what is the syntaxes uh, uh, are utilizing the standard so once you get that knowledge then you can uh, confidently able to debug that one so it is de definitely helpful to functional guy to understand the technical perspective so that angle i will cover in this session Okay. So anybody without any zero technical knowledge can join, is yes. it? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I will brush up this uh, basic concept, the ABAP basic concept, like what is this uh, dictionary object, what is the function model, what is that class, everything I will uh, uh, explain the basic, very basic concept to understand. Mm -hmm. What was the course duration and what is the plans uh, you have at Vala? yeah as uh, shivam mentioned so uh, it is a two months uh, duration uh, daily one hour so based on that voting uh, uh, we will schedule the regular time mostly the morning time so we will discuss and uh, uh, schedule accordingly daily one hour session so if uh, weekends we'll see uh, most of the participants are available we'll try to uh, schedule on weekends with uh, more uh, hours to uh, explain that uh, errors and uh, questions we will try on weekends. Yeah, we are planning uh, actually for this two months or more than two months. I think uh, we can complete this before three months. So in between two to three months, we can complete the course. Uh, timings will be, I suggest you all, uh, if everyone is okay, so we'll start session at 8 a.m. Monday to Friday. So it is okay for all 8 a.m. 
Shiva, if you can make it 8 30, it'll be good. Uh, 8 o'clock is time when um, school is not right. So, if 8 30 is fine, I'll be happy. Is it 8 30 is okay for everyone? 8 will be fine, Shiva. <laughs> and also, Shiva, Aniket here, uh, 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 do we have weekend batches? Technical? Yes. And this one. Uh, right now, only one batch. That is this. Okay. Bala, I have one more question. Subhish here. Yeah. Uh, Bala, like uh, even the queue, queues also will you be able to cover in this topics to management. Yes. Yes, yes sure. Uh, I had missed that one. So I have one uh, requirement. Suppose uh, uh, I had explained that one that master custom field uh, distribution to the EWM in the product master update that is also come from you right so I will cover up that one uh, okay. inbound and outbound queues so and that is an announcement in the uh, queue chapter right one sifting that a uh, product master from ECS to EWM so that okay. will cover through sif and uh, enhance in that uh, queue uh, and you'll be talking both about S4, uh, I mean, embedded and uh, yeah. decent clip. Yeah. You both cover. You know the difference, right? Embedded and, and uh, decentralized. Right. So the concept is same, but that only difference is that uh, data transferring, right? Most. Yeah. 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 And we will, uh, I will explain in the, uh, this uh, HANA system. We will uh i and uh, execute syntaxes with the new syntaxes so i will explain and uh, try in the logic uh, place it into the s4 on our system yeah. and, and like i'm also a functional consultant yeah that's what yeah i also yeah. Yeah, me technically i'm thinking and one more thing is we will this be recorded all the classes each time all the videos and we'll be able to see yes. that so we can yes. No uh, all sessions will be recorded and will be shared to you by end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Th thank you. Thank you. Shri. Thank you. Bala, Bala Mayesh here. Bala. Yeah, please. Uh, in debugging, you said you will teach the debugging, right? Uh, so, may I know yes. specifically, is there anything, I mean, any topics you will cover? Uh, like, uh, well, uh, distributing the delivery to EWM, uh, I need to stop due to some, some issues. I need to check thoroughly. So, is that concept kind of thing will you teach? I mean, the cost model. Yeah, everywhere when I write the logic in any standard or custom program, I will try and I will go debugging and explain that what is programming is doing. If you have oh. more patience, do the go and debugging mode every time whatever wherever you in your uh, current project just suppose mm -hmm. you successfully determine the bin and go to the check the log but instead of checking the log if you have more patient go debugging and where that uh, final uh, bin determination okay so that is an your interest so i will try most of the places 99 percent i will go and debug that logic what we created and what we utilize the logic in everywhere in reports in ppf in rf and uh, in uh, object oriented for everywhere i will teach you the debug that is the one target to uh, target for me as well as you for understanding more debugging so that is very helpful to <coughs> uh, uh, to you in uh, all projects no, that's fine. Uh, my question is, see, I mean, uh, cross-module debugging means RFC debugging, generally we will we can call, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah. Mm. RFC so, debugging is say, nothing but queue debugging only, right? So that is going yes, to be yes. covered. Yeah, that is going to be covered. He has already explained it. Yeah. See, yeah. Mm -hmm. see RFC okay. means it is come to the function model, one, of, one function model, right? Yeah. So, so at the time of uh, function model create suppose here suppose example one create verota so i am create one function module to utilize the uh, code for create the verota so this function model wherever you place it like in uh, uh, you said that queue 
we can utilize the function module in q and in monitor transaction in ppf and in rfui so the function model is function model name is different but the concept is same for debugging right so you know the concept of function model you can try to debug that uh, code so everywhere i say everywhere in ppf action in q determination in pp uh, in p uh, rfui wherever the function model is uh, required okay and one more thing balla see i just joined a little bit late uh, by the time you have given uh, yeah. introduction about yourself may i know uh, what is your experience in uh, so yeah uh, i told you i i have uh, 10 plus years of experience experience as a uh, techno functional consultant in ew okay okay yeah thank you Hi Bala, Aniket here. Yes. Um, Bala, this uh, technical information of EWM, uh, will it be useful for other module as well? Uh, these uh, basic concept, ABAP basic concept, definitely it will be utilized. But uh, in other module, we don't have this concept like uh, PPF framework and RF framework and monitor. So that is the only difference uh, between other model and uh, EWM. But these other terminology, what I uh, brush up this uh, basic knowledge, ABAP dictionary, interfaces, function model, BAP, RFC, smart form. So that will be common for all SAP models. Got it or any question? Yeah, uh, Bala, this is Omar Grant. Uh, so my question is that uh, a lot of organizations uh, will have their own ABAP teams, okay? And uh, the roles assigned to those ABAP teams, ABAP associates, will not be given to functional consultant. So having this technical knowledge, how it will help a, a EWM functional consultant, how it will help him? Yeah. So I'm uh, for your coach. I'm just giving you one uh, simple answer. Suppose you are in the support project, okay? So uh, you have configured uh, some POSE uh, to identify the uh, various creation order rule or something. You have configured. Suppose you have uh, configured the various order creation, but the testing. Uh, in development system somehow that various order creation rule is not determined somehow it went to that uh, exception cases you did everything is fine okay so you have checked double times to configuration but somehow you didn't find that uh, in the configuration so obviously uh, you were in everything is checked nothing found so what is the next steps you will do you will go to that ABAP side to identify the why it is not determined. So what is that issue? So the technical person will debug enter for warehouse uh, order creation rule. Why it is not determining after one or two or couple of sessions he debugged and finally identified this is the issue somewhere in the standard uh, code. This checking is uh, some some check in the configuration checker. But you don't know, even you don't know idea of that uh, check mark to determine this warehouse order creation. So this is the, you finally you identify if you check that uh, mark in the configuration, it will uh, successfully uh, determine the warehouse order creation. So what is the moral here? To simple configuration, but you cannot, uh, you didn't identify that exact uh, uh, issue. So my agenda here, you are the T-shaped person to identify the technical, understand the technical as well as the configuration to help more, uh, more, uh, what I mean, say more uh, efficiency on your work to not depending on the technical person. You can able to uh, resolve your own by technical as well as function. So that is the agenda. So I'm not expecting you go and uh, write entire logic to 
print smart form and uh, the RFA. But at least uh, at the end of session, you will able to understand the logic to debugging and write some simple, simple uh, coding. That's it. That is the main useful part. Hi, Sorry. Uh, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. My name is Vinila. Uh, I uh, am already working as an ABAP consultant from 10 years. So I can see most of half of the topics are related to ABAP. So yes. I know how it is helpful to me, like to be an ABAP in EW technical, which is training. Like I can see two topics are like related to EW technical, PPF and RFUI, and a few code snippets. So I may know like yeah. how would be helpful to join yeah as a uh, we know about uh, technical uh, we know everything is say mostly this dictionary and uh, we can easily identify the logic but uh, the i as i told you the only the difference is here vopf framework suppose if you go to this rf framework so uh, suppose uh, we know that abapar know that uh, what is the logic but here the difference is with I can put the logic and what data need to be uh, moved to the corresponding thing. What is the table to move the data? So that is the only difference here in the framework. So you know that uh, this understand the framework well, then you can you can easily write the logic and place uh, and pass the data into the respective table. And here in EWM, we know in every transaction, we have different views right? like in SCWM map and in, in any PRDA. So suppose I am checking uh, this SCWM PRDA. So we have two uh, switch framework and uh, list framework. So these uh, BOPF framework handle this all buttons, function model, classes, and this framework automatically. So the ABAPR, the regular ABAPR don't know about this framework to identify the, he know the logic, but the most important thing, where can I place it the logic and how to pass the data into that correct information to the correct uh, structure or internal table so that is the main difference and also few concept uh, uh, the three concept are not familiar with regular ABAP that is one framework PPF framework is a different approach to development and RFUA framework and also these uh, somebody knows this uh, don't know about this easy enhancement uh, framework for uh, adding the custom fields in that uh, standard transaction so this is the only difference between the normal ABAP person and ewm technical person got it any uh, clarity any, any you want to clarify yeah i got it so like only fifth seventh and eighth will like uh, like helpful for me yeah for yes yes exactly as a ewm technical person mostly uh, will get that uh, requirement on the rfa framework and the ppf and veros monitor and uh, some will uh, get the chance to uh, customize that uh, queues inbound and outbound queues got it and you also provide some access system as to EWM, uh, yeah yeah we are going yeah the access. system access you are will take yes oh, thank you so much uh any questions fine guys uh, if you don't have any question you know my whatsapp number as well <coughs> oh, ping me in whatsapp oh, okay okay uh see uh, session uh, bala can we start session from tomorrow yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, today uh, I had. So we'll continue uh, from tomorrow on basic ABAP concepts. So okay. bear with me uh, if you if you, in the session if anybody has ABAP knowledge. So uh, just bear with me. Once uh, we completed the basic ABAP concept, we'll slowly move into the SAP EWM technical one by one.
yeah thank you okay bala stay on line uh, just a small question here yeah please yeah please uh, after this training like uh, how many years of experience in ewm technical can we put in resume like uh, how much real time mm, uh, knowledge can we have uh, I mean, real time scenarios also should be shared will be shared or statement that maybe you can understand from my point of view right after session and training uh, like to put into profile how many years experience uh, uh, will <laughs> yeah yeah we'll talk personally <laughs> not in this we'll see i will explain <laughs> uh bala this is sudesh here uh, i think most most of the persons in the group are functional so i think please you should uh, your training should be <laughs> in that sense right okay mostly i think functional person trying to understand technical okay i hope you will cover yeah. in that yes yes, yes. Uh, as a and that is my am uh, yeah please go ahead bala yeah thank you so I, I know the painful areas uh, in uh, as a functional consultant so i will try to your life is more easy that is my agenda to uh, explain the concept sure sure thank you uh, guys uh, session starts i mean training starts from tomorrow itself and right now the timings are 8 to 9 am so so most of our participants are comfortable with this please okay and for the details as usual you know my whatsapp number 7036000061 you know i am shiva i am a senior solution architect from sap ew you know right fine you ping me here and i'll give you the link to join from tomorrow sessions okay guys any question anything you want to ask? the the course fees also you want to put it here or you want us to ping you separately 35k Okay, if you want to discuss more, just ping me in WhatsApp and give me a call. I will discuss on that. But... Sure, thanks. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you all. Bala, it was excellent. Thanks for your support and your, for your time. So, we'll connect tomorrow at 8 a.m. Guys, thank you all. See you tomorrow at 8. Thank you, sir. So ping me in WhatsApp for Thank you, Shiva. Thank you, Bala.